Italy's new prime minister, Giuseppe Conti, condemned the killing of a Malian migrant over the weekend. Sumaya Sacco was killed earlier in a shooting incident that also injured two other Malian migrants. Mamadou Gassama, Mali's Spider-Man, was on the way to becoming a French citizen within hours of his life-saving heroics. 28-year-old Majid Majid, a Somali refugee, is the first Muslim and youngest ever Lord Mayor for Sheffield City in England. He was sworn in last month, becoming the first Green Party mayor in the United Kingdom. And VOA's investigative unit helped break the tragic story of Mukhtar Diallo. In 2016, the teenager came to New York City from Guinea in search of a better life. He worked as a garbage person and wound up crushed under the wheels of a sanitation salvage truck on November 7, 2017. His co-worker said their dead colleague was a homeless person. The police took them at their word, and Diallo was buried quietly by his family. Our VOA investigations uncovered a plethora of misdeeds by the Sanitation Salvage Company and by corrupt city officials. Other New York officials have since opened and reopened investigations into the workers' union, the sanitation company, and the death of Mukhtar Diallo, who some claim was treated like trash. But it is the Mali Spider-Man that prompted today's broadcast. A migrant from the troubled former French colony in northwest Africa who journeyed through Burkina Faso, Niger, and Libya before making the dangerous Mediterranean crossing to Italy, arriving in France last September without papers. A journey not unlike those of thousands of others from sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, and elsewhere, all seeking a better future. On May 29th, Gassimo met with French President Emmanuel Macron, who invited him to become a French citizen. At least a million sub-Saharan Africans have migrated to Europe since 2010, and the flow continues. They're all seeking better lives. Those that survive the often perilous journey generally do eventually find better lives in Europe and the West. Many thousands have also died seeking better lives, and too few are asking, what has to change to slow, end, and reverse the migration of those in search of a better future? Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.